Hey guys, it's been a long time coming since I've cut a log on a big beautiful wood miser. And if you've been watching any of my videos in the past, you'll know that I've been putting quite a lot of effort into this machine to get it running absolutely perfect. And so today is kind of the test run for that. I had a friend that gave me uh, some logs from another guy's property that he had cut. And I gotta tell you, I have no idea what these logs are. I have an idea, but we're gonna find out as we go ahead and cut them. So, let's go get the logs, get them on the mill, and let's watch this bad boy work. Well, as you can see, this piece has a little bit of a crotch section in it right here with the two with the branch coming off of the main trunk. And so, one of the first things I have to do is figure out exactly how I want to cut this. Again, there's no specific end purpose for this log. And so I'm just gonna try to um, probably cut this into bowl turning blanks because I have a younger daughter who's learning to turn bowls and you can never have enough bowl turning blanks in your collection. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna cut this and try to get a few sections out of that spot right there where that crotch comes in. And that's gonna make for some beautiful bowls in the future. And then the second log, we'll handle that one. That one looks a little better, and that one we're gonna make lumber out of. Let's get started. All right, this is a big turning slab, and there's gonna be a big turning slab underneath this, and let's see what we got. Look at that cut, it's so nice and smooth. Here's that crotch section that I was telling you about that was gonna be in there. I'll get a close-up of that and show you that right now. And this is, Without a doubt, elm. So when these were cut, they looked really dark on the ends. They almost looked like a walnut, but they didn't have the sapwood ring that a walnut usually has. And you can tell from the smell, um, I don't know how to explain it, but elm kind of smells like an old barn, if you think of it that way, an old horse barn. Um, beautiful wood. So we're gonna go ahead and keep cutting this, and we're gonna finish this one out, and we're gonna, we're gonna get the other one on here and cut some lumber out of that one.
Look at this beautiful elm. These are the big fat slabs right here, as you can see. It's about four and a half inches thick. That's going to be for bowl blanks. These were the little cutoffs that came off of the top branch parts. Still very useful for littler projects. So what you see here is that second logs worth of lumber and I cut it all at about inch and a half. I like that thickness because it's really good for building furniture type things. You can see all of the beautiful grain in all of these. So I was stopped right in the middle of sawing because it started to pour out here. Today's weather forecast in the beginning of the day was about a 15 percent chance of rain. But in Indiana that usually means it's going to rain very hard for 15 percent of the day which is exactly what happened. But thankfully it made the wood nice and wet so you can see the beautiful grain and all of this elm. Well I was very happy to see that this turned out to be elm. It's one of my favorite woods because it's nice and dense and it works really very well and it's not very easy to find good elm. It's one of those kind of off species that you wouldn't normally see. So I'm going to get this stickered and stacked. It's going to be drying out for at least a month then it's going to go into the kiln and it will be available for sale after that time. Um, wow, you know what is really nice about elm? It's one of those woods that really has a nice reveal. Um, certain woods when you're working them and you're just working with dried wood, they look very plain. An elm when it's dry looks very plain. But then when you finish it, I mean it pops like very few woods do and it's really a cool thing to see. Really beautiful wood. Well guys, if you have enjoyed watching this video, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button for me and hit that bell. That way you will be notified of all the newest videos that come out. Southern Indiana Sawmill would love to have you watching this channel. Thanks guys. God bless. Have a good day.